That construction incident yesterday should be a wake up call to all drivers and especially those prone to distractions. Up close tonight, TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Abby Miller brings us some safety tips worth following. The main street in Iron Mountain is already narrow to begin with, but add dozens of construction workers and projects, and the scene looks more like the streets of a metropolis. Due to major road construction on Highway 2 in Dickinson County, many roads are extremely narrow and dangerous. The last spot anyone should be caught texting and driving, right? Well, not according to what our primary witnesses here see. Numerous people driving and texting. It's numerous times when you look out of the window of a piece of equipment, and people are sitting with their head down and all of the traffic drives away, and they're still sitting there. It's not safe at all. Whether it's texting, driving too fast, or like Andrea Drosky from Quinnisec who allegedly hit a worker yesterday, intoxicated, whichever distraction it is, you can be putting many lives at risk and possibly facing some court time. Law enforcement say speed has been an issue, but really doesn't need to be. In my experience, I've seen a lot of moving violations. I think just people maybe no more not just being aware, uh, not aware that there is a worker present or uh, that there is actually a speed zone. Uh, a lot of times you will see people on their cell phone or uh, just just not paying attention. Certainly many speed violation tickets can double, but if you hit a worker causing injury or death, you can face up to $7,500 in fines and 15 years in jail. And in fact, Consumers Energy reported that in 2012, there were 11,000 construction zone and utility related car crashes. By simply being aware of your surroundings, many accidents can be avoided. In Iron Mountain, Abby Miller, TV6 News.